Hello and welcome to Cromwell. My name is Mrs MacDonald and I am the head teacher of the primary phase at Cromwell. I will see you every single morning at the gate as you come into school. And we've made this little video to help you to understand what school might look for. We've got Mrs Riches and Mrs Groves in the video and they will be taking you on a tour of the classroom. There's lots to discuss and lots to chat about with your families. and We hope that you'll get really excited about starting school in September. I hope you have a lovely summer and I can't wait to meet you. Okay, so we're coming up to the reception classroom. You can see the little gate and oh, look, here's Mrs. Riches and Mrs. Groves. Hello, this is the gate that you will come into when you start school, so come in. This is the route you will take into school. And we'll go through this door and into the classroom. So there are two cloak rooms. So some of you will hang your coats and your PE bags this side of our classroom. And then right at the other side where Mrs. Groves is, is another cloakroom where some of you will hang your coats and your bags. So when you've hung up your coat and put your PE bag on your peg, you'll come to a grey tray and in the tray will be some hands. And you have to find the hand with your name on so that you can register yourself to say that you're here. So then you'll come round here and you'll see lots of numbers. So if you're the first person here, you'll put your name on number one. And then when somebody else arrives, they will be number two. And everybody that's here will fill up their names along our register here. So you'll also bring a water bottle with you. And we've got a snack area here. So our water goes onto the shelf. And when it's snack time, in the grey box here will be our snack. We have all sorts of different fruits and vegetables. So we've got bananas, oranges, there's an apple and some sugar snap peas there. And then you'll also be offered some milk, which we will put on the shelf as well. So then you'll come into the classroom. In the first thing in the morning, on the tables, we might have some books to read or some other activities. And the classroom's quite big. And then we've got lots of different areas in the class. So in this area here, is where you can build with the construction things. So we've got baskets of different animals. If you really like creatures that live underwater, you can make a sea scene. Or we've got farm animals, dinosaurs, lots of books to read. And then in the boxes here, we've got blocks for building. We've got our train track. We've got cars and all sorts of other lovely things to play with. This is our maths area. This is where we do lots of things to do with our counting. So we've got all sorts of things to help us. So we've got games to play. These elephants have got numbers on, so see if you can put them in the right order. We've got some elephants at the bottom of different sizes. Some are big, some are small, some are heavy, some are light. All different kinds of numbers. And we've got lots of different resources in the baskets to practice your numbers with. You can do threading, you can play dominoes, you can roll the dice, you can do some weighing. And this area here is where we have things to do exploring and investigating. So we've got some little pots here to collect mini beasts and things in. You can look at them through the magnifying glass. We've got some magnets where you can go and find things that are magnetic. What will the magnets stick to? And you can use these magnifying glasses to go on a hunt to search for things as well. So this is our carpet area and you'll see that we've got different animals here. We've got monkeys, giraffes, tigers and parrots. And each one of you will have a special space where you can sit and where you can listen sometimes to me or to Mrs Groves. This is where we might sit for our register and story time and our phonic time. So anytime we need to listen together, this is where we can gather. We also have our board here, which is an interactive board. So we can play games on it. We can watch things on it and it can help us with our learning. So this is our phonic area. This is Tricky Troll. And he helps us with our phonics and any tricky words that we need to learn to read and write, Tricky Troll can help us. 
So we've got lots of sounds on our board. So these are the sounds that the children in the, my class at the moment have been learning. And there's lots of different actions to help you remember the sounds. And then we've got lots of baskets with tricky words in. And we've got magnetic letters. We've got writing books and clipboards for writing on. So you can practice saying your sounds and reading lots of different words. And then we've got some lovely books in here that help us to remember the different sounds. So we've got here, this is a really good story. The dinosaur who lost his roar. And that helps us to remember the sound. So this is our creative area. So in here, we not much junk modelling things left at the moment because the children are very keen to make things. But we ask you to bring in boxes and we can make all sorts of things. So somebody today has made a brilliant vehicle here with moving wheels. So that's something that they've made and we do cutting and sticking. We've got a beautiful picture here, beautiful collage that the children have been working on as we've been learning about creatures that live under the sea. And we can do painting, cutting and sticking. So all sorts of messy things happen in here. Our book corner area, we've got a box here full of really beautiful books, really exciting books about all sorts of things. So I've got one here called The Perfect Job for an Elephant. And we've also got some puppets in here and some soft toys and some story stones here. There's a cat curled up here. So we can use all these things to tell stories of our own. So this is our loose parts area and in here we have all sorts of things. I've got some bottle tops here, beautiful glass, I've got buttons, and we've got pine cones, bits of wood, all sorts of different things that you can use to make pictures and patterns. So we've been thinking about lighthouses, so I'm going to make a lighthouse. So I've got I'm going to make it stripey. I'm doing a pattern. Red, white, red, white, red. And I'm going to put a light on the top. And then I'm going to put some rocks at the bottom of the lighthouse. Here's so some small rocks and some large rocks. There's my lighthouse. So this is our role play area. At the moment, we've got an ice cream parlour. So we've got lots of prices on here for some delicious lollies and ice creams. So we can go into the ice cream parlour. I might want to choose a lolly. And we've got a chocolate and strawberry ice cream here. And then we've got our till where you can go and pay for your ice cream. And if you want to take some orders and look at the menu, we've got some lovely flavours here. <laughs> We've got very berry strawberry and chocolate chip and rainbow sherbet. So this is our outside play area. Um, we've got some really good building blocks here. That you can build all sorts of things from castles to shops to houses to pirate ships. Um, we've also got just around here is our kitchen area. So when you come, there'll be a new mud kitchen that hasn't haven't finished it yet. So you can see it's been started. So that's something exciting to look forward to. And then we've got lots of tubes and crates that you can build and make things and play with. If we move along here, we've got our playhouse. Inside the playhouse, we've got a little kitchen. Sometimes we'll turn it into a shop or it can be a house, it can be anything we like. So this is our sand area where you can do digging. Sometimes we have dry sand for pouring or we might put water in to make wet sand so that you can make different sand castles using the different shapes. I hope you enjoyed the tour around the classroom and outside. I um, hope you have a really lovely summer and we're all really excited for when you come to school in September. Bye!